So what's up guys? We are going to talk about how to properly assemble your trombone today. Um, so I usually tell my students to take uh, your cases and set them on the floor and you want to make sure that the latches are facing you so it opens up to you. And you want to uh, kind of look for the label on the case. So up here you'll see that this is the label. Put it on the ground. It's going to be nice and flat. And to the latches go up. So when you open it, I'm going to kind of lift it up so you can see it. When you open it, it opens uh, the correct way and doesn't the pieces don't like just fall out because you opened it upside down. So we want to be careful of that. Okay, so you have two different pieces on the trombone. You have your bell. Um, obviously with the bell and then you have your slide which is usually tucked away securely on the top half of your case so you want to look at your trombone right now and make sure you remember how exactly it goes inside your case because all of our cases are designed and cut a certain way that uh, it goes in only that way so it doesn't there are no options you don't put your slide back this way when you're done with it you want to put it back exactly how you found it and in the correct uh the correct way to make sure that all of the little pieces are protected um because all of the cases like i said are cut exactly for your trombone pieces to go in um the same way exact way okay so i am going to take out my slide so here's your slide and once you get your slide out, you want to make sure that uh, the slide lock is on. So this one is on, so if I hold my slide like this, the slide doesn't just uh, fall off and slide off. Um, I'll show you what happens if your slide lock is not on. Just see, there's, there's the slide, okay, the slide trombone. And the lock mechanism is actually right here. For the, this is, you got two holes right here. You can see it. One is longer than the other. The shorter one right here where the, there's two holes, the shorter hole, that's where your mouthpiece is gonna go. So where your mouthpiece goes, that's actually where your slide lock is. So I'm gonna find it, I'm gonna twist it gently and you'll see the little latch right there, it'll catch. And now my slide is locked, so it's not going anywhere. I'm going to set that down right there and I'm going to take the other piece out, which is the bell. So you got two pieces, the bell and the slide. Okay, lock my case here, get it out of my way. Okay, how do I put this together? Well, there's only two pieces, but you do have to sort of be careful that uh, it goes on the correct way. The slide should be pointed down, and if you see, there's usually a little rubber piece here or like just a little pointy thing that uh, protects the bottom of the slide so you can actually, it's safe to put this on the ground. So we're gonna put this on the ground like this, and I'm gonna take the bell, point the bell down, so make sure it's down. So this is the part that connects to the slide. So I talked about how the shorter hole right here, there's two holes, okay? The shorter one, that's where the mouthpiece goes. Okay, the longer one, that's the attachment to this guy, the bell. So bell to the slide, just like that. Okay, it should go right in. And then, okay, we wanna make sure that we put it uh, to sort of secure it, and then there is a, there's a screw right here to attach the trombone so the slide doesn't go anywhere once you attach it. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten it, okay? You don't want to over tighten it just because over tightening is not that good as long as it's kind of secure, not going anywhere. Um, it's perfect. So if you're looking at the trombone right now, so a lot of students don't know if the slide goes this way or this way or this way. It should be sort of in a V shape or an L shape. Your trombone, your 
trombone bell and your slide should sort of be at an angle like this. Either I either call it a V or not quite an L, but maybe in between a V and an L, right around there, about a 45 degree angle. Okay, um, and we want to make sure that the bell, if you're looking at your trombone right now, is on the left hand side and the mouthpiece hole is on the top. Okay, so you want the mouthpiece hole to be on the top. Yeah, because if I did this, now the, well, the bell's on the left, but the mouthpiece hole is on the is down here, so that's not quite right. We want the mouthpiece hole to be on the top, bell on the left. Okay, so there it is, there's your trombone. Okay, and we'll always hold it down like this. We never turn it upside down, okay, because once we put the mouthpiece in, the only thing that holds the mouthpiece in is gravity, so we don't ever want to flip our instruments upside down uh, so our mouthpieces don't fall out um, and get damaged, okay? And so that's it, okay? So let's uh, disassemble it. So again, here's the screw that holds this guy together. So we're going to loosen it. Okay, keywords are twist and turn, twist, turn, twist, turn, and voila. Okay, and I'm gonna open the keys. From up here, so you can see it. Okay, and here's your bell. You wanna make sure that it goes in the right way, just like that. It's like a puzzle. Okay, the slide is usually the tricky part. You wanna make sure that it goes in a way where you're protecting the water key um, and your, or your uh, spit valve, which is this, this guy right here. We want to make sure we don't apply pressure on that. Okay, Let's stick it in there. That looks like it goes just that way. Put the sleeve on it, button it up, close the case, latch it, latch it, latch it, and done. That's how we put our trombone together.